This is my video on iOS 6, and in this video I'll be giving an entire overview of all the features on iOS 6. So Apple has jam-packed over 200 and plus features in this. Now, matter of fact, this is iOS 6 beta 2, so all those features are not yet here. Um, I know some features that are just getting here, um, and some aren't. So let's go ahead and take a look at our icons. We have a new settings icon and a new map icon. And what's great about these two icons is I like the way they look. It makes it gives you a different um feel to your springboard um with iOS 6. Um also we can swipe over and take a look at Passbook. Um and Passbook we can take a look at that application. We're gonna take a look at that later. And also we have our tap to tweet, tap to post on Facebook. We have our notifications. Uh, I can tap to tweet whatever I want. Quick little demonstration. Sorry, it does take a minute to load up, but that's alright. Uh, I'm gonna tap. Hey. Can't. Wait. Sorry, I'm not much of a speller. Wait. For iOS. Six to be public. Just gonna go ahead and tweet my stuff, and you will hear, hear it. And then you will hear that notification uh, saying it just tweeted it. Also, uh, you can do the same thing uh, about posting stuff on your Facebook and much more. So, passbook. Let's take a look. Passbook. We have a few little things it doesn't give you much to uh, see it has boarding pass tickets it's just telling you what passbooks gonna be like now there is an application just like this um, no not no whoa this is an application where you can store your boarding passes and tickets and store cards um, so you can go ahead and take a look at that right now um, but there's a website where you can go ahead and make your own passes which is pretty cool I've checked it out no, it's, it gives you a taste what it gives you a taste for developers mostly, and it gives you a taste for the users what this app's gonna be like. Also, um, let's take a look at some more features. We have our new just like that focus. We have our new maps application, and it does say 3D down there. If you can see that when you load it up, it says 3D. Um, you go ahead and search your stuff uh, with the little tab up there. Um, this is a 3D. It does rotate the way it is, which gives it a little more map feeling. It gives you a little more, much more to see. If you want, to, if you were to say, uh, gives you a wide um, variety of stuff, which is pretty cool, and um, all sorts of stuff. I love this application. It is the best Apple has ever done with their maps. Very, very cool very cool application. I can't wait till this goes public like I just tweeted um so you can go ahead and um get to know this by my video right here. Uh we can go also go into settings. When we go into settings, we get a few things. Uh we get do not disturb mode. I did do not disturb mode, but I'm going to go ahead and do it again. Uh, when we do do not disturb mode, we get that little moon on the top of our clock right there. Um, sorry, I have to readjust my camera here. I hate to do that, but let's work with me. Also, we have our privacy where we can enable location services, contacts, and all sorts of stuff. Check out my other videos. I'll put those link at, links in the description. And there's a playlist for it, so check out that playlist and watch those videos. Um, also, we have uh, more stuff. We have... Facebook integrated and Twitter integrated. Now in iOS 5, uh, Twitter was integrated, uh, but not Facebook. Which Facebook that was sad for a lot of people, and because um, Facebook's such a big um, social networking, and of course everybody loves Facebook. I love Facebook. They love Facebook. Anyways, we can go ahead and go to um, we can sign up our account, and it also lets us install stuff uh, in the Facebook application. Also, we can go to our music application, and it gives us a whole different look from the music application, um, which is really neat. Um, once it, once my music application decides to load up, I'm trying to make this a very quick video. 
Um, these are my four songs. I know, pretty sad, but I just updated. Um, uh, Black Betty, uh, from the song Dukes of Hat. It's from the sack of Dukes of Hazard. Check that movie out. Very good. Anyways, back to it. Uh, we get, uh, black, um, motioning, uh, controls, uh, silver-looking iCloud, um, zinc form. We can go to our camera application and check out we have new buttons down there. New colored buttons. Um, go ahead and flip that camera down. Flip that camera around. And there you go. You can see as my um, see my uh, ceiling, and you can see the buttons are laid out. So that is cool. Oh, there's me. And now that we've closed out our application, um, we also can take a look at the new App Store. Um, what's the problem with this App Store right now in iOS 6 beta? It's kind of laggy. Uh, same with the iTunes. But you know what? We'll have to get over it. Um, as you can see here, our feature tabs. We have features, top charts, gen. Genius Bar, and we have update. Um, let's take a look at the Genius Bar once this loads up. Um, I've already searched an application called iFunny. If you haven't heard about that application, you might want to go check that out. It's a hilarious application. Uh, so, I'm just going to, and there we go. Don't need to see my Apple ID. Probably did, but whatever. Don't know my password. Big whoop. All right. Please excuse me for my camera right here. It's pissing me off a little, as you can see. Well, here's the Genius tab as I fix my camera. Tilt the device this way. Okay, so here's the Genius bar. Uh, Genius is currently not available on iOS 6, so it is not fully integrated just yet, but it will be, and I'm guessing it'll be a little taste like iTunes with the Genius bar on it such as support and all that great stuff and probably schedule appointments for the Genius Bar in your local apps, uh, Apple Store with this um, section of the application. So then is a great feature coming to iOS 6 and this is what the App Store and iTunes looks like both. I'm not going to show you iTunes um, but it looks just the same just with um, movies, music, podcasts, same thing. I mean um, there's no point in showing it. Okay so back to our springboard uh, we have the Game Center app. Um, here's uh, the Challenges tab. I'm glad it pulled up Challenges because um, with this application, if you haven't seen WWDC um, or heard it in a podcast or something, they Apple introduced Challenges. This does go with um, the Mac and iPod. So this um, feature is also integrated and the um, OSX mountain line so that is a great thing uh, I have to sign in but I'm not gonna sign in but I just told you about the challenges but challenges you can um, challenge other people if they're on a Mac and you're on an iPod and you both have the same game such as racing game and you can both race each other via Mac and cro cross platforms to iPod to the iPod or your Mac so that is a great feature. Um, I'm trying to think what else we haven't covered. Um, I've covered a lot so far. Uh, Passbook, I've covered that. Um, just about, I've covered everything in my notification center. Um, just trying to think. Let's go back to our settings and check everything out. And we have all these different settings. Oh, uh, also, oh, oh, of course, we have photos and camera. Um, also, I forgot to add, this is my last thing right here. Uh, when we go to our photos application, we have our regular photos. I'm going to cover that up real quick for our privacy information. Now I'm just going to take that off camera for a second. Let me go to my photo stream, make sure I can have what I want people to see. Okay, this is just for privacy purposes. And here's my photo stream. These are uh, some photos from my camera roll. Once the camera faces, uh, I've got these photos off of iFunny. They are hilarious. Um, these are straight to your um, 
PhotoStream, and when PhotoStream gets here in iOS 6, when it come, becomes public, this is PhotoStream is going to be more like a, a Facebook, Instagram sort of thing. Um, if you haven't got the app Instagram, check that out. Uh, you'll know what I'm talking about. So I'm guessing PhotoStream is going to be like a social network for Apple. I know it's going to be like that, because so, friends and family will be able to check this out. So make sure you uh, know what you're posting in the photo stream because you don't want to get caught or get in trouble with what you're posting in your photo stream. So guys, that was my video on iOS 6. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you leave a comment if you have any problems or like this, give this video a thumbs up. Um, follow me on Twitter. I'll put that link in the description. Follow me on Twitter one more time. Um, thanks for watching guys. I'm sorry about the intro. Couldn't get that up. Uh, and working on this video, um, having some technical issues with my intro, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So comment, rate, and subscribe. This is Iraq5649, and see. You.